Why did all this happen to me? That's all I ask. The high priest is important, but it's a thankless task. The last thing I needed at this Passover feast was talk of newfound freedoms and prisoners being released. We knew there'd be trouble when that man was on his way. His home is in the northern hills. Why is he here today? The crowds flocked out to meet him beyond the city gates. And crowds getting excited is one thing that I hate. Without the people's ignorance, we've got no prestige, no job. Without a healthy fear of us, there'd be a rebellious mob. The prophets and the law are what keep people in their place. How dare he ridicule us, call us vipers to our face. He claims that he personifies all the prophets wrote when they foretold Messiah. Word perfect, every quote. Then he reduced the law to, love God and your fellow man. Who needs us to interpret that? Anybody can. He makes the people laugh and cheer. He gives them hope and pride. Anybody who seems that good must be foul inside. And what's more, this, this is something I cannot just ignore. He lets the rabble come to him when they are sick and poor, encourages the vulnerable to see him as their king. Before long, their support could turn to worshipping. So we had him arrested, and he had a trial of sorts. We let him hear the charges and the witnesses' reports, he had a chance to answer and argue out his case, but he just stood there in silence with that look upon his face. So I've had enough of him. I've done all that I can. He's just a village carpenter. Does he know who I am?